Hello folks, today we're looking at gameplay from Out There Oceans of Time, a sequel to the original game from 2015. Now, this is the beta version that will run until July the 13th. Uh, it's one of those resource management, event-driven, decision-making type space games where you hop from one solar system to another. And this one features expeditions where you can send an away team down onto planets to do a kind of turn-based exploration thing. We're trying to get over there to the accident scene. And we're currently in this place here, you can scroll out and zoom in as you wish. Um, we need to start mining for stuff. Uh, we've got several planets in this system. We've got G um, Garden, Gas Giant, Rocky Planet, and a Red Giant, a Risky Orbit. And so we'll have to go mining, but we'll also look at, be looking out for expeditions, which will be handy for various things. Or oh, by the looks of it, we will lose a lot of hull by doing that, so we don't want to do that. Well, let's see. Let's start off by going to a garden. Uh, maybe we'll get some oxygen um, mined out. Well, let's see. Let's see what this brings us. Um, we can scan it. Oh, it might be oh, might be an anomaly for an expedition. Okay, so this is a bit of a mini game. This where we have to tr get the signal as high as possible. I think we're probably looking for it to be around here. Here we go. The the the, the graph on the left is at its reddest. All right. So I mean, we could land there, and we'll risk bleeding and fever. Let's straight go straight off into an expedition rather than do all that boring ass mining. Let's just get our feet dirty on the planet and go do stuff. I think we can actually do some mining here before we go. Um, just so we can... Let's, let's see what we've got at the moment. We've got plenty of everything, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, we, we, we don't have to risk it too much, and we also got to be careful not to use too much fuel. Um, right, okay. So we've just drilled um, oxygen and some gold and some copper, I think it is. Um, we've got certain slots to fill up. And we'll drill, drill again. We'll take another chance. Every time you drill... You're risking it a little bit. It might break. So we've got plenty of oxygen, which we don't even need at the moment. So I don't think we need to do any more than that. But now let's have a bit of an expedition. So we've got Sergey. I think we just need probably... Hang on, let's have, I think we'll, we'll take two people, I think. Maybe take amplifying antenna. Maybe not. Let's, let's add you to the party. You're taking alien proteins, which will add energy or stamina. What can you take? Sacred ointments. Okay, maybe take one of those as well. Okay, so let's get moving. I mean, you can have up to four people, I think. Right, so essentially all we're doing is following this arrow. Um, so we've got 64 stamina. Um, the more people you have in your party, the more stamina you have. So it's best not to just like send one person down. Um, so going over here will take 10 stamina. And there will be things along the way to investigate that might, be, that might help or hinder us. So that's, uh, we're down to 44 already. Let's just move to there. Oh, we've got something over there. Let's go and investigate that. That might be a person. Hmm. Sergey! Captain, you're alive! So it turns out, but we've lost the vanguard, the Archon has escaped, and we no longer have a crew. Oh. But you're alive, I was worried about you. We faced the Archon, we barely made it. The Archon are these kind of like weird, prickly, werewolf type lads who are, who are like broken free and are like terrorising people after these lads have woken up from about mm. 100 years sleep or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. uh, having the faintest idea, the capsules didn't have a pre-programmed destination. They must have drifted to this planet. Mm. Can we hope that the organisation will send a rescue team for us? Mm. I'm not sure of that. Given their intolerance for failure, we might expect to stay here until we rot. Mm. Yeah. Right, so we need to find a way off the yeah. planet. Right. And um, I think we are going... Oh, bottom left. Alright. Well, that's done that. So let's move onwards. We've got three people now, which is very handy, because we've that's boosted our stamina somewhat. Oh, we've got, a, we've got an event here. Uh, we smell a freshly lit campfire. We approach both happy and worried about finding signs of life on this planet. An alien is lying down. They do not look good. Um, they glance at us and suggest that we take their bag. They don't think they are going to survive this accident anyway. Well, we have... We have a tonic, I think, so let's try to get them to survive. The alien starts trembling until they regurgitate a blackish syrup. It wasn't the accident that was making them suffer so much, but an infection. They should get back on their feet more easily now. So that's a good positive thing. And we've also got someone to join our crew, this like, weird little triangle lad down there. And we've found three ore, which is going to be very important because we can refine that in our refinery. I think this might be some plant gathering. Gather rare plants, five stamina. That's fine. We've got stamina to burn at the moment. And by the looks of it, if we follow this, oh, we, we may take a little bit of a detour to get some more, I think. Can we actually get up there? Yes, we can. Okay. Round here. I'm not sure if that was a long way round or not. Gather our five stamina again. There's a bit of a risk here, I think, but we should be okay. Then we can go here. 
13 stamina, still fine. We, by the looks of it, we're almost at the place, so we should be good to go. We're going to a ghost town. So time seems to have stopped still here. The captain approaches gently and notices a slight noise of breathing. We hear a call for help. But be careful, the cocoon seems covered in toxic saliva. Um, apply an acid detergent, I think. I think. All right, so that's that was good. Um, uh, the, the, uh, he slathers it on the cocoon and it melts. And it's a survivalist. They're doing better now that they can breathe open air. They decide to join us. I think there's a, there might have been too many crew members. I don't know. <laughs> but... And this particular mission will always come up on the tutorial, and by the seems of it, on all the regular games as well. So I think I think this is a fixed. This one is a fixed expedition. Uh -huh. Captain, we're getting close to the signal. Do you think we could try getting closer to our position? I'm starting to get tired. I can try something. Don't move, Captain. So now I need to essentially spend ten fuel curling the ship, which should now land just there, and then we can jump aboard. Successful expedition! We've got to the goal! Morale plus 10. All the lads are all very happy indeed. We seem to have got two identical lads, but shush. Right, so we could theoretically carry on drilling, but... Look at all the... Oh god, we've got so much stuff. We don't need to worry about anything now. Let's get out of here. Right, so let's see. We don't really need... I don't think we really need to start mining any more than what we've got, so let's, let's start plot plotting a course to our destination over there. And that's out of range. What about you? Oh, hang on. Don't want to do that. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> try that one over there. Here we go. And we emerge into the system just in front of an extremely dense asteroid field that forms a cloud everywhere we can see. The shock will be violent unless we immediately jump to a new system. Fine. The ship is moved to someplace else. Oh, ah! Uh oh. <laughs> We've just been booted across the cosmos. I didn't expect that. A ethereal entity navigating via cosmic rays has run into our ship and materialised in our power grid. It's coming dangerously near to our databases, but it seems to be dangerous to physical beings as well. How do we get rid of it? Um, see what happens if we just wait. Uh, we are not injured, but the loss of technology is unfortunately quite significant. Only the computers are buggered. Cos Refinery technology blueprint is deleted from the database. Oh dear. Hydrogen probe was broken. Oh god, we're going to have to start fixing things, I think. So, to fix it, we need two iron. Hmm. Okay, we, uh, well, we could disassemble it, but we don't really want to do that, do we? Um, it looks like we're going to have to go to a rocky planet and get some more iron. Uh, because there's nothing much we can do there. Let's some... Oh god. Already things are getting a bit scary. What about you? Oh, you're a garden planet. We don't want that. Uh, risky orbit. Um, we might try to go to another planet, um, a nearby system. You know, let's tr see what the hell we're actually doing. Red giant. Red dwarf. Let's let's take a bit of a chance going over here and see if we can find a rocky planet here. Yes, rich in metal. Let's go there. Already things have gone weird. All right. Let's let's just land. Let's not worry about scanning for now. I say we are like we need to repair that component. I think that component gathered hydrogen, which is something that we need for fuel. And if we don't have any way of gathering fuel, we're kind of buggered. We've got sixty-nine fuel. Right, let's drill. I'll confirm at the regular level. Oh, look at the amount of iron we just got. That's great. Transfer all. In fact, we can. I don't think. I think we have to do this. Go back into the screen and fix it. And we've sorted. We've already fixed everything. That's good. And well, we did we did lose that blueprint, so we won't be able to make another refinery. Or in fact, any refinery. Oh shit! Hang on. I think the tutorial actually makes you make the refinery. In this case, we haven't actually got it, so we won't actually be able to make. Oh, the refinery is there. Hang on. Let's have a look. Oh, there it is. Yes, the refinery is just here. I, th I, th I thought for a second that I, I would have to build the refinery, and I wouldn't be able to. But it's fine. So we've got seven ore, and we should be able to make a little bit of stuff out of that. Thorium and oh, okay, and gold, I believe. All right, let's do some more drilling. Let's turn the drill up a bit and use a bit more fuel. Ten iron and one silicon, I think it is. 
So, we can use the iron to repair the hull, but we don't really need to hugely, but we, we can do a little bit. It's the it's the hydrogen that we're gonna we're gonna definitely need. So let's we'll probably need to go to a gas giant or whatever. We may I may risk a little bit of extra drilling just whilst we're here. Oh, we've hardly got any. Yeah, diminishing returns. Right, let's get out of here. And now we need to let's see. We need to ideally find a gas. You know, just scroll out. Some sort of here we go. Gas giant rich in fuel. Let's do that. Let's try and get some hydrogen on the go, and then we'll move systems. Unfortunately, we, we were sent in exactly the wrong direction for where we need to be, which is very annoying. Right, let's dial it up a bit. Hi 20 hydrogens! Alright, immediately bank that. Nice. We we're starting to run out of space. We've only got a bit of gold, but... Hmm. Let's continue to probe. Another 10 hydrogen. I think that'll do for now. Right, let's see. Let's try and move on. We're going over there. Try there. Lads, we just came to a black hole. Oops. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what are we going to do? Stay out of the event horizon. Stay out. It'll suck you dry. So this does nothing. Let's, don't, let's, let's not be here. <laughs> All right. Hopefully this isn't the same planet as we started in, but... Oh, we've got bugger all oxygen. Okay, we've got to be careful. Have we got any oxygen at the moment? That's not... What is that? I don't think that's what I wanted. Um, we'll put the fuel in there. Um, repair the hull. We desperately need oxygen. Morale's not great. Um, but thankfully we've got a garden, so let's go there. We'll be able to get oxygen from this. Maybe we we'll even be able to go on an expedition. Let's see. No anomaly available, so no, we can't. So I think this is just going to be a regular ass bit of drilling. But look at this place! Holy shit! We're landing in grounded. Bonk. Very nice place, by the looks of it. Drill is like new, so I think we should be fine there. Already got oxygen out of that. Also, what's the oh? These these don't fit into the um, into the hold because oh we hang on we've got full oxygen I thought we got low oxygen maybe it's because landing here I don't know um, anyway let's maybe the gold should just like die I'm um, trying to get copper instead I think you can change some of this stuff around to actually convert slots let's just try to see if I can actually do that convert into technology or storage slot so you can do that. Or you can build possibly a sick bay, but we haven't actually got enough C for that. But yeah, let's convert one of these into a storage slot. There we go. So then, then when we drill, we should have a bit more space. Oh my god, we've got a million of everything. Again, let's just, we'll just get rid of the oxygen. Yep. Put that into there. And we've got some W2. <laughs> Excellent. But fuel-wise, hmm, again we're already quite low on fuel, aren't we? Which is less than ideal. And I think it's, let's just leave this place and try to move onwards. We, I'd like to find another expedition to do. We're getting closer. Let's go to a blue giant. I didn't use much of anything, to be honest. Uh, fuel, again, let's just go sort out the fuel situation. Whoosh. Ooh, blimey. Let's really dial it up this time. That uses quite a lot of fuel, but it also earns us a lot of fuel as well. Oh, that's damaged. I've got no slots anywhere to put anything. Um, give it a one bit of carbon dioxide. In fact, let's put that directly into there. And that also directly into there. But why is that... Why is that broke? Hang on. Hydro oh, the hydrogen probe. Uh, Alright. To fix it, we need two iron. That's fine. We've got plenty of stuff. I think we were right to convert that thing. We do need a lot of space. Let's, let's just get some more whilst we're here. Again, diminishing returns. So, again, move on. Maybe we can get to the accidents. Yes, we can. We can get... Oh, it's, it's another black hole. Did I actually miss this one? I think I might have actually missed the right... 
Yeah, look, we didn't quite get that right. Okay. Slight diversion there. Ignore that. <laughs> hmm. Sergey, look, there are two ships adrift in this oh. system. You're right. I recognize the Vanguard, and I think the other one must be the Archons. Mm -hmm. Let's get a closer look. Here we go. Oh god, there's two things. Abandoned ship and an accident scene. Also a couple of planets as well. well let's have a look at this first. Let's go rogue. Whoosh. Vroom. And that. View cargo. Ooh, stuff! Steal this ship. Allows you to gather rock samples from planets and asteroids. Well, I've already got one. Let's actually disassemble that. Let's steal that. And we can put that onto our pile over there. Telescope. Hmm. We've already got a telescope. Disassemble. <laughs> put, put it onto our pile. Uh, sick bay. Again, we've already got one of those. That's all the blueprints we've got at the moment, I think. Onto the pile. Oh, we couldn't quite fit that in. Um, that's fine. Again, these are all st all stuff that we've already got, I think. We're starting to run out of places to put stuff. So I wonder what happens if we embark. Oh, okay. So I think it means that we can basically take the ship for ourselves. Ah! Uh, unfortunately, I think we'd have to dissemble and then reassemble everything. I can't see a way of actually taking... Mm, I think... I have a horrible feeling I shouldn't have dissembled this stuff. Because then we, we could have actually... Um, yeah, we could have actually stolen it. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, I'm not going to steal the ship. Just because um, I dissembled something and I probably shouldn't have done. Um, let's actually go to the plot. I'll, I'll know next time I can steal ships with impunity. Ooh, that looks, that looks like a an evil ship. It's one of the ships that attack mm. us! Indeed, Captain. It's strange that it would be abandoned. Mm. It must have been damaged during the attack on the Vanguard. What are your orders? Mm. Search the ship. I'm sure we'll find the Archon's trace there. Mm. Well, well. It, it seems like the Archon has some advanced allies. I have something, Captain. Looks like the Archon is building a republic. Mm. A republic? Now I've heard everything. Mm. Although this information dates from before we were frozen, 100 years ago. I see if I can find some information on the Republic of the Archon. Mm. Look at the map of the ship, Sergei. It looks like the Archon it, it, it achieved their goal. Uh -huh. It's unbelievable that all these civilizations would rally to the Archon. Uh -huh. Knowing how these Archon operates, I would guess that they don't have a choice. Uh -huh. I'll attempt to log into the communication terminal. Hmm, uh -huh. there's nothing. Uh -huh. The last destination of this ship was a place called Atlas. <laughs> that could be our best lead. Uh -huh. uh, okay, let's go then. I just hope it's not too late. Previously on No Man's Sky. Okay, so this is the um, this is their ship. Again, it's just a bunch of modules. Okay, so scrolling out, it looks like we now have to go a very long way away. Ooh, that's a long way away. So it looks like we have to plot a, a course a very very long way across the map, starting to go over here, I guess, uh, and then forever onwards. So let's finish off this um, bit of gameplay by um, having another look, um, a bit of a go with the anomaly again and see if we can actually get an expedition on the go. This one should actually be a, a more random one. There's, a, there's another expedition somewhere. should be there. Nice. So we could either, presumably we could go to either of them. Let's go to Alpha. See what's down here. And... Bonk. Whilst we're here. Oh, there's way too much stuff. Eh, whatever. <laughs> At least it fitted in. Right. Expedition. So we'll need to add... Oh my god, we've got six lads. Yeah, we did actually manage to get all the different crew. I wasn't quite sure previously. The gift of life. Loses one health to one expedition members. Heals for two expedition members. Or something. Right, we'll add you. We'll have you. Um, we'll, we won't take Nyx. We'll take Sergei. Or actually, no, we'll we will take you because you've got alien proteins, which is handy. And you as well, because you appear to have got some kind of healing going on. And... Go. Let's see what's what. That's our ship, I think. Right, so we've got, some, we've got a hazard there. We are trying to get bottom left. 
nine, started with about 100 stamina. So let's try and avoid that hazard, just so we're not losing health. Try over there. Why can't I go there? Go there instead. Over there. N not finding nearly as many events this time. This is, I think the rocky planets may not necessarily have quite so much good stuff. Are we going in the right direction, I think? Hmm. Might have to go around. Oh, hello. Found something. Gather all. That'll take stamina. Let's, um... Let's use her special skill, which is to give us some more stamina. Um... It's quite a long way away to get to that thing. I think we need to find more... special things. Hmm. I could gather... Oh, it's a bit of a risk if we do. Hmm. Let's see what other stuff there is. Speed increase. Loses one health to one expedition member. So we will actually sacrifice some health. Um... I don't know. I'm not quite sure what good that will actually do. Also, I don't really want to gather the ore if we're just going to die as a result of not having enough stamina. stamina low. Speaking of which, we are going to start taking health hits now. But we're actually quite getting quite close to stuff. What's that over there? Oh, that's the start. Okay, that's fine. What's this? So we can we can get use ten fuel to get the ship if we are going to start dying or whatever. What's this? Oh, that's us. <laughs> that's fine. One of the people that we um, we rescued only has two health. I've just realised that. Um, oh, it's, we're so close. Okay. Oh, we're, we're getting... One of them guys is going to die, but frankly, I wasn't that keen on them anyway. Let's see if we can get away with this. I think we can. Just about got there. A massive ship landed down here. It came in turbulently and took damages as a result. Numerous um, creatures toil at the rocks nearby, trying to extract minerals to repair it. But they're working hard, too hard, under the supervision of overseers who beat them. We pull a worker aside, and they tell us that they are a prisoner, and this is a slave ship that plundered their whole home world. Hmm. Save the prisoner. Negotiate with the slavers. Let's try that. Uh, there's a long negotiation. They're in need of some very simple metal parts that we can make aboard our ship. As much as we'd like to free all these slaves, our Inkaturka looters offer a trade as a large quantity of Amiga for our help, and we accept with pleasure. Oh dear. So we found some Amiga, um, which apparently is good, but unfortunately we probably are pricks. Alright. So we, yeah, we could have gone all the way back to the ship, but I just risked all our stamina. I think we've got a we may... Oh, it's, it's miles away. Oh, dear. <laughs> I was hoping it might land a bit closer. Anyway, I'll give the party some more stamina. Is there any health... I mean, is there anything we can do here? Heals. Here's what we'll do. I'll heal you. And maybe it's only, only you might be able to get back to the ship. But at least someone will survive. If we can just get there. Oof. Yeah, we, um... Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Well, we've, someone else has died. <laughs> I think I'm rushed in with way too much confidence here. <laughs> at least, at least the important person survived. Morale, minus 30. Oops. But we did find some Amiga, which apparently is incredibly useful indeed. Um, morale zero. Ha ha ha! Sorry, lads. You're dead. So yes, the universe is a huge place. Look at all these bloody planets. So if you do like your roguelite, um, space expedition type games, you do check this out. This is uh, quite intriguing. And the, the beta um, is, is going to run until, I think, July the 13th. Uh, the, um, the, release, the full release date. Sometime this year, apparently. Uh, thanks for watching. Do subscribe to Randomized User to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games out there. And check me out on Buy Me A Coffee if you want to support the channel and keep us going. Uh, bye for now.